Hey, what's going on guys? Killer6 and today I'm going to teach you guys how to run and install and do all the things that you need to do with the randomizer. Now, the things that I'm going to include in this are going to be the weapon randomizer, the class mod randomizer, the skill tree randomizer, and the enemy randomizer. The only other things that I may include here are the cutscene uh, disabler. Alright, so the first and foremost thing that we're going to get into right here right now is if you do not feel comfortable doing this, just know I am in no way, shape, or form responsible if you screw up your computer. So if you already feel uncomfortable doing this, just stop now. <laughs> There's no, no sense in you risking any kind of damage to your computer or to your game uh, just to have a little bit of extra fun uh, with this mod if you don't feel comfortable using this mod and, and doing the steps that I'm about to show you. Now, even if you follow the steps step by step exactly as I show you, if something goes wrong, still not responsible. Still not responsible. You assume all risks from this point forward, okay? Another thing before we continue, you must have already ran the filter tool and the community patch. If you haven't done that, then go find your guides on how to do all that and then come back to me. Uh, but yeah, you need to run the filter tool first. And the filter tool is a, a big part of this uh, because that's where you're going to install all these mods. Now, one thing to note is that uh, filter tool can be a little wonky at times. Uh, sometimes it won't open up or sometimes you'll get errors. Uh, etc etc like that boom like that just like that if that happens to you then that's because your system's not giving enough memory to the filter tool and i'm going to get you guys this run.bat file this run.bat uh, uses your command prompt essentially uh, but it does all the work for you and it'll just uh, run the filter tool through your command prompt which will also uh, give you more uh, memory toward this. And as you can see, this is made by Light Chaos Man. So all, all credit goes to him for this. All right. So uh, now that we've gotten into that part, let's go ahead and start talking about what all we're going to include, what all uh, you need to do to get to this point. All right. So normally when you have the filter tool, you won't have this mods folder down here at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and uh, delete this out. I'll start fresh with you guys. How about that? Now, every time you do anything in the filter tool, make sure you save after doing it. So if you've added a mod, go to file, save patch. If you've removed a mod, file, save patch. That way you just don't forget, okay? And it'll tell you that it's deleting a bunch of codes. So yes. Um, the reason I'm able to uh, delete and uh, do things like that is I've got these th these three things checkmarked under developer tools. You're going to want to do that. Uh, now we're, we're at the default filter tool settings right now. So now that we've deleted that one thing, I'm going to start back at square one with you guys with just the base filter tool running the patch.txt. All right. Now from here, I like to set my current patch type to offline instead of Borderlands 2. Again, make sure you save after doing every single little step. All right, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the GitHub, and this is where you get all of the different mods. Most of the mods that I use are by a uh, user named From Dark Hell. Uh, From Dark Hell is uh, responsible for the weapon randomizer, which is the CE randomizer. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. Now this one is one of the few that is too large to go right here on the GitHub, so you actually have to go to the Dropbox to get it. So just follow the steps that I'm doing, you just click the link. Then when you hit download, you choose direct download. And if your computer's like mine, it's gonna drop it down here. And you just click on the arrow and you choose show in folder. And as you can see, that opens up this downloads folder. Now from the downloads folder, you need to put it into the same folder that all of your other stuff is, your filter tool, uh, your uh, patch.txt, this needs to go in that same folder. So what we could do is we could just drag it over into that folder, or if you don't have a second folder window open, just go to uh, Documents, uh, My Games, Borderlands 2, Binaries, and then you're just gonna drop it into the Binaries folder. As you can see, I've already got it. So we're just gonna skip, because I don't need to put it in there twice. Okay, so ideally what you would wanna do is open up a folder that uh, directly points to Documents, My Games, Borderlands 2, Binaries, and then you have that open and then have your uh, downloads folder open here. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the GitHub, the main page on the GitHub. Uh, the next thing that we're going to get, um, actually, let's stay here and from Dark Hell stuff for a moment. 
Uh, you can do the car changes. I think Jolt's dude does a lot of these car changes. I've had no luck getting them to work for me, but you know, if you want to, you can t you know tinker around with those. Um, the class mod randomizer. So you want to right click, save link as. When you choose save link as, you can actually choose die commits, my games, Borderlands 2 binaries, and then drop it right in there. As you can see, I've already got it though, so I don't I don't need to save it again. But this is the one that will make all your class mods uh, really fun, really creative, and uh, yeah. Lots of, lots of fun to be had there. Next thing we're gonna do from Dark Hills uh, stuff is the Borderlands 2 skill randomizer. Now this is a RAR file. So when you download this, you're gonna have to extract it. When you extract it, you're gonna get this Borderlands 2 skill randomizer.exe file. When you run this, you're gonna get this little window like this, and you'll have all your different characters. You got Salvador, Axe, and Zero, Maya, Gage, Krieg, and then there's the miscellaneous option. Under miscellaneous, you can randomize all characters and generate random character and skill tree. Uh, for what I did, I chose Axton. I hit randomize skills. And then that gives me the option to save this as a hotfixes file, which then I chose it as axton.hotfix and just hit save. Now I've already done mine, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you save, uh, again, you're going to want to save that into your binaries folder. So we're going to clear that out. We'll go ahead and close this out. That's all you had to do with that program. It's literally it. That program is now done. So what you need to do, once you have that axton.hotfix file, you can't just run that as your patch. You have to output it. So what you need to go do is go back into filter tool and go to miscellaneous tools and choose convert hotfix file. And then you're going to go into your same folder again and you're going to choose the axton.hotfix and hit open. And then that's going to generate this axton.hotfix.output file. Which again, you want to make sure you save in the binaries. Once you have that, then you can go to developer tools, add single mod, and then add that axton.hotfix.output, not the axton.hotfix. Make sure it's the dot output one. And then when you hit open, you'll see the mod mods folder appears here. And inside you have your axton.hotfix. Now, if you want to use axton completely normally, uh, then make sure you uncheck that <laughs> before you uh, run this. Uh, but if you want his skill tree to be all jacked up and you know twisted around, then do this. All right, so again, after each step, we're gonna save patch. Now, I've been told, but I can't get it to work for me. I've been told that if you go to file, and uh, actually if you if you do a, a new file, and then you have your patch, then you can add in all these things that way. I've not had any luck doing that. So uh, we're gonna go back to, to what I was doing. I just keep saving everything over top of my existing patch. And I know that's not ideal, because then every time I start a session, I need to run this, uh, the filter tool thing, and make sure that I have things checked or unchecked that I don't want to use or that I do want to use. All right, um, well, while we're in here, let's go ahead and add in our other things real quick that we've already downloaded. Sometimes this is a little slow. Um, so next we're going to add in, we downloaded the cheat engine randomizer. Add that in. And you'll see that your mods folder collapses. That just means that it's saved in there. Um, if you go to, if you enable all three of these, then you'll be able to click on these things and move them around. And I've had the best luck putting the CE randomizer as the first thing that runs. The uh, hotfix file is the second thing that runs. And then uh, let's also add in um, the cutscene disabler is, um, it, it seems kind of 50 50. Now, the cutscene disabler is also from Dark Hell, and that is under the quality of life folder for him. So cutscene disabler. And then the last thing that we're gonna add is the enemy randomizer. Now to find the enemy randomizer, uh, you could go to, I believe it's Light Chaos Man. Uh, yeah, enemy randomizer right there. So you're gonna right click, save link as, and then drop that again in the same folder. And then every time you wanna add any of these things to your patch, go to developer tools, add single mod, and then we're gonna choose enemy randomizer. Now, <laughs> One thing to note is I'm going to put the enemy randomizer above the cutscene disabler. All right. And then again, after doing all that fun stuff, we're going to go to file, save patch. And there you go. Now you'll notice that I didn't put in, I did not put in the uh, class mod uh, randomizer. Uh, and there's a reason why. Every time you put in the class mod randomizer, it seems to break. So I don't know how to, to get it to work here, but I'm gonna show you how to get it to work in the game. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this is set back to offline. Save our patch again. 
and from there I'm going to close this out and then I'm going to show you guys in the game how this works okay and as you can see we are now loaded into the game uh, I'm going to go to the the character that I've been using on the randomizer because I don't want to mess up any of my other characters this is my uh, my super super awesome action all right now if you are familiar at all with the community patch you know that you have to hit the tilde key which is located conveniently beneath your escape key immediately to the left of your number one key and right above your tab key so it's near that top left corner of your screen you hit the tilde key one time and then you can type exec space p-a-t-c-h dot t XT. Now, for some reason, in your folder, you don't show the um, the extensions, like the TXTs and the .exes. If you don't see extensions, then don't type the extension here. If you do see the extension, type the extension here. So, for example, if yours just says patch in that folder, you would just do exe patch. But we have TXT, so we're going to type that. And this is gonna kick into gear and run. And then I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you incorporate the class mod randomizer as well. All right, so don't be surprised if you see this unrecognized class or object thing. That's completely normal. That happens frequently for me. Um, and then you wanna type in exec space class mod randomizer, all is one word, dot txt. Hit enter, wait for it to run, and you should be good to go. Now, I've had issues with using the uh, the cutscene disabler. Um, sometimes if you want, you could uh, run that right here from the, the main screen again. And again, I do not believe that caps matter, but I like to do it anyhow, because I'm thorough. All right, so now that we've done that, let's, uh, let's jump into our game and see what's happening. Now, do not be surprised if load times are brutal. If you do not have a good graphics card, if you do not have a good CPU, this might take a while. This might load slow. And then if somebody starts shooting you with like a crazy chopper mongol combo, good luck to your computer. Because <laughs> it might possibly lock you up. Just think of that as being the equivalent of bunker with somebody shooting you with a pimpernel. It's going to end badly for everybody involved. All right, now that we're loaded in, I'll show you. As you can see, uh, I still have my shock bane. This is what I refer to as my bane fleet. You get all kinds of crazy fun things like that when you do the, the uh, CE randomizer. Uh, this is the result of the uh, class mod randomizer. As you can see, that's got plus eight to battlefront. <laughs> this is uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, some of these weapons, um, there, there's definitely a way to bypass the sanity check and keep some of these things intact. I have not yet learned how to do that part. Uh, if somebody uh, is familiar with how to do that and wants to tell us in the comments below, that would be spectacular. And we'd love you forever for that. But yeah, as you can see, even the grenades are going to be wonky and weird in here. Like, uh, you got Fireball that has slag on it. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, let's uh, let's go take a look at some randomized enemies real quick. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty wild. This is a pretty wild mod. You're going to get some interesting stuff. Um, this thing uh, broke between the last time that I used it and now, but it's still amazing. This Clement, it was a, uh, it was part Mongol. It's still pretty dope though. <laughs> Even without the Mongol part, it's pretty dope. And as you can see, we got an extra fast infinity, which is uh, actually a SMG in this case, but I can't use it yet. And a bayoneted flare. Oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh this is what you can expect with this. It's pretty crazy. There's the skill tree randomizer. As you can see, my skill tree is now called Redux. This tree is called the BBC tree. I'll let you figure that one out. And this is the paid tree. So as you can see, my skill tree is all out of whack. So this has been a quick and easy tutorial from Killer6. I hope you found this helpful in any way, shape, or form. If you did, then please hit that like button, hit subscribe for more. And again, if you have suggestions, advice, tips in the, just leave them in the comments down below and it'll help not only me, but anybody else that's watching this video. And uh, hopefully we can uh, improve everything for everybody. All right, uh, links for all of the different uh, things are down in the description. Make sure you guys check out From Dark Hell. Make sure you check out Light Chaos Man. Make sure you check out Shadow Evil, who uh, is one of the, the founding fathers of the patch and uh, basically is the, the guy without whom most of us would have never heard of the patch. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Y'all take care.